Uh, the way I designed this is that basically this hovercraft has everything on it that you would ever need. Except for the only thing it doesn't have on it is it doesn't have an armor locker on it. Hey everyone, thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. And this is Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 7.1.1. I'm an old guy gaming and I'm ready to do some more space adventuring. So today what we have planned is we're going to make a couple of modifications to our hovercraft. If you did not catch my stream from Friday night, I basically um, built this thing on that stream. And if you're curious in seeing that or even just parts of that, uh, do check out the stream. Uh, it is on my YouTube channel and it's also on my Twitch channel. But uh, one of the things that happened when I was building this on the stream is I forgot how to do a couple of things. Because I actually built this hovercraft in creative mode first, and then I rebuilt it in survival mode on the stream. But there's a couple of things that I did differently uh, that I couldn't quite remember how to do. So I'm going to fix those things first, and then we're going to jump in this thing. We're actually going to go do some exploring. Also notice that in my... Um, uh, when they just came out with a new update since I played this, and it looks like they set some or, or reset rather my video settings. So I need to figure out what what is it that I don't want on. Um, I don't want depth of field on. Uh, I don't mind depth of field sometimes, but it's yeah, I liked it. I like to see things more clearly, so yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we're going to turn depth of field off. The rest of it we'll leave on for now, um, as long as we don't have any problems. Okay, so yeah, the plan for today is we're going to modify the hovercraft to make it a little more like the original hovercraft I made in uh, creative mode. And by the way, if you like this hovercraft and you're interested, let me know in the comments, and I'll go ahead and put it up on the Steam Workshop for people to download, if you're interested in that. And then uh, once we get it fixed up, then like I said, we'll go do uh, a little bit of exploring in the hovercraft. Let me set my timer here. Uh, let's see here. All right, timer's going. And yeah, so that's the plan for today. So let's go ahead and make a couple changes here. Um, this is going to come out. By the way, I'm using a tier two um, multi tool. I found that on the stream when I, I went to a POI and alluded to the POI, and I found this and a button and some other stuff too. So uh, happy about that. All right. The I'm probably gonna yeah. I'm I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I had I found a little bit of hardened steel, and I was able to make a couple of these. What are they called? Um, yeah, shutter window blocks, which are much stronger. Uh, these have 200 hit points compared to the 25 hit points of the truss blocks, which I was using in the build. Unfortunately, I, I only had enough to make um, three of these. So we'll put this one here, and then later on, we will, uh, you know, when we can make more hardened steel, we'll replace these as well. Okay, so we'll put those there. Now, the other changes that I wanted to make... Yeah, that's correct there. That's how I did that on the uh, original hovercraft. Now, the other change I wanted to make is... I did this a little differently, too. So I'm going to take this stuff back off. And I think... Let's see, if we take that off, too... Let me put my um, symmetry plane on as well. So that way I don't have to do this twice. Okay, so I did this a little bit differently too. First thing actually I noticed was that these here were angled blocks. So they were more... I don't know if they were that high though. I think they were... Uh, yeah, I think maybe they were these. OK, 
Okay. And then um, on the back here, can I put just a full block there? What happens if we put this here? See, you now we could do that, but then that leaves our hover engine exposed. So how did I do that? Um, I do remember that wrapping around just like that. But it does leave those hover engines exposed. So I don't know if I want to actually keep it that way. And I, and I don't want to run back into creative mode right now and look at that either. Um... Okay, let's try something different. Let's take these back out. And let's go back to where we were with... Oh, is that what I did? I don't think so. Right, okay. And then, what we could probably do is... Try this one. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then we'll put... Uh, where is it? Where is it? put that there there that works I don't know if that's really much different than what I <laughs> what I had before though but I think it gets the job done let's get our color tool back out and we want this to be black and apply it to whole block And these were black. And then this should be the blue. There we go. That's pretty close to what we had before. We want those blue? Yeah, we'll make those blue. And we'll make this one black. Cool. Now... The other thing, let's take the symmetry plane off now. The other thing that I did, yeah, I didn't have that glass sticking out. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go back to using a single here, Like so, and then this is going to be the longer one and the longer one. These guys were then blue. Oh, wrong blue. There we go. That's pretty close. That's pretty darn close. I like it. Now, um, we do have some exposed guns here, though. But I think I like this better than because the because the other time I uh, before I fixed this, I had another one of these here, but it was blocking the thruster. And again, you know, that doesn't really actually matter. The game doesn't care. The thrusters are still going to work the same, but it kind of matters to me. I'd like to, you know, have it somewhat realistic and have that open. All right, so the other thing that I did differently is... I actually put this lettering down here, not on the... on the upper part, because it fits better. So let's go to symbols and let's erase that and instead what we'll do is put it down here and you'll see why I'm doing this because of how it needs to fit on the other side.
Because the other side I was having problems with. Oh, by the way, I also had. Uh, let's see, where's the. There's supposed to be a gun symbol. Why am I not seeing it? Right here. I also had these on there as well. Okay. Yeah, I know it's upside down, but it's got to it's got to fit. All right. So now what we do here is All right. How did I do that now? Oh, man. I just forgot how I did it again. Let's take and erase that. And then we'll go back to letters. Now, uh, shoot. I lost I lost it again. I can't remember how I did that. All right, darn it. Let's just go into creative mode real quick. It won't take that long. Completely drawn a blank here. Uh, we want resume game. We want creative. So yeah, I, uh, I'm just back after being out of town for several days uh, for uh, family reasons and um, Oh, okay, so I put old guy at the top, and then G-A-M-I-N-G down there. That's how I did that. Okay, that makes sense. I think that works a little bit better. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, by the way, this is the... If, if you didn't see the stream, this is the original hovercraft that I built in uh, creative mode. So I basically just rebuilt this from the ground up on the stream, you know, so I could do it legit uh, and show everybody how to do how that all works. Wrong key there. Cool. Okay, let's go back out and back into creative or to survival rather. So yeah, I'm back. Um, still really tired uh, from the trip though. I haven't quite quite fully recovered. Um, so I apologize if I'm not my normal um let me adjust this here quite as energetic as i normally am but uh we'll, we'll get through it we'll get through it so this changes to this Um, huh? I must not have, um, yeah, I must not have filled that all the way up. No, 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 no. There. Okay. And then this. Well, actually, we could just, yeah, yeah. I think what we want to do is put that there, put that there, this here, leave a spot, and then like so. There we go. That's pretty close to what it was before. I think it'll it'll work. Nifty. Okay, so we are ready to rock and roll. Now, just uh, real quick again, if you if this is the first time you're seeing this, so you didn't watch the stream. 
Uh, the way I designed this is that basically this hovercraft has everything on it that you would ever need. Except for the only thing it doesn't have on it is it doesn't have an armor locker on it. But it's got two storage or cargo boxes. And I, notice that I can get to those through these little gaps here. I, I put these blocks in to cover the, most of the surface area, you know, to protect it. It's still possible to get, you know, the fire could get through there, but less likely. Uh, but then I can also still get to it too. So I have two cargo boxes, one on each side in the front. Um, I have a refrigerator. I have a small ammo box here. And then coming around the back, I have a constructor that I can make stuff in. Down here I have a cargo box for harvest, so when we go mining and so forth. Uh, put mining attachments on the hovercraft. Uh, that's just the other side of the constructor. This is an oxygen tank. Uh, obviously I don't need it for a Kua, but the plan is to eventually build a, a capital vessel and then I can load this hovercraft on that capital vessel and it'll take it to other planets. This is an O2 station to fill oxygen up. And that's the other cargo box. The fuel tank's the only thing I can't get directly to without breaking um, or removing this panel. But I could remove the panel and then I can get to it right here. So it's just right, right down here. Alternatively, I can get to the fuel tank and really anything else on the hovercraft uh, from, from the cabin. Okay, so let's see, we need to change the color of that back to there. So if you're in the cabin and you press P, you can also access all your devices from here. So I could get to the fuel tank from here just by selecting it and clicking access and then I can put more fuel in this way too, uh, which I think I'll actually do. We'll fill that back up. All right, how is our ammo doing? Turn the light back on. Yikes, we're completely out of ammo. Really? We have ammo in the gun. Uh, yes, I do have ammo loaded into the guns. If you look in the lower right-hand corner of my screen, you'll see uh, that I have 242 total ammo across three guns and no extra. Um, so that means we really need to make some more ammo. I sure wish the game wouldn't turn your light off when you hop into a cockpit. Or, or rather that it would turn it back on once you get back out. But it doesn't, so we got to deal with it. All right, let's see here. Now, I picked up a lot of stuff from the POI that I looted, including night vision goggles. Um, in fact, I got two of those. We also got some boosts here. So this is a multi-boost. It makes us go faster, gives us some armor value and some cold protection, but we take food consumption rate. It reduces food consumption rate. Gives us some heat protection. Jetpack usage multiplier, 0.08. Makes us go just a tiny bit higher, a little faster, okay? This one, Acceleration multiplier. This one makes us accelerate faster. It has less armor. Um, what's this do? Insulation boost. Cold and heat protection. EVA boost. Uh, I'm assuming this will help us move better in space. That's what the EVA is for. Oxygen tank, we don't need that. Radiation protection. All right, I think for now I'm going to go with the multi boost. And we put that stuff on over here at the armor. So we'll put the booster there and have the same key. Oh, maybe I just have to have that in my inventory. Let's see. No? Oh, uh, all right. What do I do with this then? Item used for seeing better during night can be activated by the same key that is also used for player light. Toggles between player light and night vision. Item has to be in your inventory, and you have... Oh, I have to wear my helmet. I see. Okay. There we go. Night vision. All right. Uh, that should come in handy later on when we're down in the deep, dark alien dungeons, risking life and limb. Cool. Okay. 
I can actually put two of these on. So, oxygen tank, mobility, insulation. Minus 30 armor value, though. Wow, that that's a kind of a heavy penalty. Can I put two multi-boosts? I don't know if these stack or not. Since I don't know that for sure, there's probably not a real easy way to find out. Let's just put this one on for now. Okay, let's unload these extra blocks because we're done with those. Uh, we don't need our paint or our texture tool. Uh, let's see, that goes in there. I do now have a tier 2 drill and I actually need to use that thing because we're super low on promethium which is what we need to make more ammo. I have three pellets there. And I need to make the, what is it? The 15 millimeter bullets for the Gatling guns and I don't have enough Promethium. You know what we ought to do guys? Maybe we ought to just go hit some Promethium real quick. I won't spend a lot of time doing that, uh, but we really need more ammo in our hovercraft before we get too crazy about going out and exploring because we're gonna definitely gonna run into some resistance so let's do that let's jump in this thing fire it up uh what the hell is that something's not right Oh, thrust. How come all that stuff's off? I didn't turn that off. Don't need the oxygen on. Hmm. Oh, that's just show on HUD. Okay. Well, yeah, let's, let's turn those on. I guess. Something's still not right. I don't know what it is. We got power. We got fuel. Thrusters are working. So why can't we lift off? Let's power it down. Wait a second. Power it back up. Alright, I'm confused. Main power on light signals turrets thrusters. So there's something wrong with our hover engines. What the hell? I don't know why that stuff is all turned off. That doesn't. I, I did something. I must have done something to turn them all off, but I don't know what it is. Does that mean I have to manually turn all this stuff on now? I don't know. Weird. I guess we better just make sure everything else is on that needs to be on. See, all that stuff's on. Ventilator doesn't matter because we're not oxygenating. Definitely want the RCS is on, and the lights are on. Okay, those don't need to be explicitly turned on. I want all the guns to show up. Bridge, core, cockpit, cargo box. Yeah, that's weird. I I don't know. Let's you know what? Let's do an auto group as well. Uh, so that way, I can turn on the whole group instead of one individually. Uh, I'll have to see if I can figure out, though, what, why not everything came on all at the same time. Something weird about that. All right, now we should be able to take off. That's better. Okay, so we're going after Promethium. 
I know there's some over this way. Right there is some Prometheum. Now I'm also going to... Um, pr I'll probably put some mining attachments on here and mine a little bit with this, but I'm but my ultimate plan is to uh, where there should be already a, a hole that I started. Oh no, I guess I wouldn't have for this Promethean deposit because it's it's this one over here that I started. Uh, anyway, I'm also planning on actually building a mining hovercraft specific to uh, for the purpose of mining. Okay, that must be the entrance to that Promethean deposit. Okay, let's um, lower this guy down. And I think I'm just going to completely cut the power on it. You just have to keep an eye out for enemy drones is all, like that one over there, for example. Is he going to harass us? He's not coming this direction, so I think I'm going to not worry about him for the moment. All right, Tech 2 Drill. Let's turn our light on. I like the light better. There's a lot of Promethium down in this hole. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, you better stay away. So, the Tier 2 drill is a laser drill, as you can see. And uh, I believe it removes material faster, but the other really nice thing about it is you don't have to be real close uh, to the material to remove it like you do with the uh, Tech 1 drill. So I can stand way back here and shoot all this stuff. Got it. Okay. So that gave me 30 ore. And let's see. Here's our vessel. Now we should, hopefully, hopefully we can go to our constructor and Turn it on. All right, why can't I open it from here? Oh, because that's the group. Access, throw that in there. And... Oh, doggone it. You're not going to let me make ammo for the ship. Guess I'm going to have to use the large constructor. Okay, well, I guess we can at least be making pellets while we go back to the base. And get some ammo going. Uh, let's see, we want to go here. And we want 15 millimeter bullets. Let's make a stack of 100. Output count is 100, so that'll give us 1,000. Perfect. All right, let's go. We got some drones coming in too. Uh, let's see. This needs to go here into the cargo box or the small ammo box, rather. And we're off. Okay. I won't keep you keep you too much longer, guys. Let's just go see if we can mix it up with these drones that are coming after us. And then uh, we'll, we'll end this episode. And we'll, like I said, what I'll probably do off camera is uh, just do some more mining. And then when we come back in the next episode, we'll go we'll go do some serious adventuring here with our new shiny hovercraft. Okay, we could attack this guy up here by the Titan. So let's strafe over this way. 
Yeah, I've, with these three Gatling guns on the, the front of this thing, this thing shreds the normal drones. I mean, it's like no contest. As long as I can keep it level, that is. that drone. Sometimes the drones I've noticed can get like caught inside of the POIs. I'm wondering if that's the case with this one. It kind of looks that way. All right well uh, I guess we won't be shooting this drone after all. So, let's cruise on down, oh wait, we just came from that way, let's go this direction. I think I did, a, bleh, did a big old boost off of that top of that mountain there. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how this hovercraft turned out. It handles pretty well. It should. It's got six RCSs in it. Okay, this brings us to the North Pole. And you can't go beyond that boundary there. But, I don't think we're going to be able to get over the mountain here. So, we might have to actually go this other direction. Okay, well... I guess, um, I guess that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm sure run out of time fast, but I did want to get um, those finishing touches done on the hovercraft and just kind of show you guys all of that since, um, what is that, plant protein, I think? Uh, if you didn't, you know, see the stream the other night. So when we come back in the next episode, we will go ahead and do some exploring, and we'll look for some POIs, do some looting. I uh, got more quests to do as well. I still have to kill a slime, and I have not found a single slime on this planet yet. Not that I've searched the whole thing yet either. Anyhow, uh, yeah. So let's wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go do some more mining and replenish all my resources because I used uh, quite a few of those up to build this hovercraft and uh, so I'll do that off camera and then when we come back in the next episode we'll do some exploring we'll find a POI uh, you know mix it up with some aliens do some more quests and then the next thing on the list in terms of building is to we'll expand our base a little bit more create another pad and then we'll start working on a small vessel once we have the small vessel built we can then uh, go up into space and you know get some more advanced resources and just keep moving on up through the game. So thanks for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like. And if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Bye.